What's up? What's up? Y'all know what time it is? Yeah, it's regional finals. It's this week, so we're leaving right now. We're going to practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, we did find somebody to practice with. Big thanks to Mr. Ronnie. I uh, fished with him at Lake Kiwi this year. Uh, so we're fixing to leave. It's going to be a four-hour drive, heading down there. We got a lake house all week. Don't have to stay at the hotel. Uh, we're going to fix them to slay them. We're fixing to go down there and see if we can pull that W off. Thanks, everybody, for your support this year. Thanks for following. Hit subscribe if you haven't done it. And uh, stay tuned because we're fixing to slay them. Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Bass here. It's uh, day one official practice. We're here at Lake Seminole. Um, of course, as y'all know, if you've been watching, it's the regional finals. And um, so we're fixing to go meet up with Mr. Ronnie. He's staying at Big Jim's. And uh, we're gonna go out, but uh, y'all check this lake house out. Uh, big thank you to Miss Regina for uh, letting me stay here for this whole week. Uh, this place is phenomenal. Uh, there's a view over the lake. You can't see it right now, but we'll, we'll check it out a little bit later. But uh, we're fixing to head down to Jim's and meet up with him. So um, of course you're going, I'm gonna film everything so you're gonna get to follow along with us. But uh, you never know, we could catch a big 10 pounder out there. Uh, we could get skunked at practice. Let's see what happens. Why did all of us just run hot? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. 
hands up. No. Yeah, I was telling him my whole main run down there was mad and grass. Oh, I hit something this morning in the boat lane. Yeah. No, it wasn't a floater. No, no, no. Gator. <laughs> I've seen one of them all out. Y'all said there's alligator. There ain't no alligator. I ain't seen one yet. <laughs> hey boy! <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to blow up for the camera. Oh yeah, nice! Did he eat him? You hooked him? <laughs> yeah! Oh my! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Surprise is still on there. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Surprise didn't pop the line though for real. I ain't budging, I tell you that. Uh-uh. I'd probably eat too. Look like you're missing an eye. This stuff is supposed to get real mad. I think he was going to eat it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He just come off. That was trouble. <laughs> they believe me now. <laughs> they believe me now, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Right here. I mean, this is right here in front of us. This is a, supposed to be an isolated 
map, it's supposed to be good, or some scattered, isolated grass. And we can just follow the, just keep moving this way. And just follow your contour line. This is good grass right here. There's a spot there. What, man? Crazy. What you mean? Where are we catching? Just, they, they sit in this grass. They, they house in it, they live in it. It's an ambush point. There's no reason to move because the fish come right by them. I mean, that's just how I've always fished them. Maybe I need to go to that spot, lock down, go in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Randy would tell me. He, he fished tournaments when it was Red Man Series before it was FLW. There's one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got Quit, I'll get it out. I got some right here. That's what I was wanting right there. They're red, don't they? Mm-hmm. Bill Danchy, come here. Nine and three quarters. Be a good and a half. What's up, guys? It's day two. I know I didn't check in with y'all yesterday. Um, was kind of in a hurry to get off the water and get into town before Westside Bait and Tackle closed. It's a pretty cool tackle store in Bainbridge. But uh, y'all, the lake, okay, it's really showing out. And by showing out, I mean being true Seminole. And a lot of people think true Seminole means it's 
kicking butt. No, it's being true Seminoles, being tough. Everything's locked down tight. Um, I've been able to get some bites. I know what to throw. I'm pretty confident in what I'm throwing, uh, but it's just going to be one of them tournaments where it's going to be a grind. We already, I already knew that coming into it based on what was going on the week before. Uh, so the week before, we got maybe nine or ten fish between two people. It's just going to be that way. Um, everyone's freaking out trying to do things. Um, if they're not used to Lake Seminole, they don't think there's fish around. <clears throat> Let me just tell you all, with a vegetation lake, if you pull up to an area and you know there's fish, you caught one fish, there's going to be other fish there. You have to be patient, okay, and fish the areas out. So not a lot of guys are going to do that. Um, championship, big money, boats, all that cool stuff's on the line. So people are going to be running and thinking there's some magic key to unlocking the lake. But um, reality is it was 98 degrees here last Friday. The water temperature is 84 degrees in October. And uh, they haven't started the fall transition because it's still real hot. So you have to fish a summer pattern. Um, you know, they're not on the ledges. If you go to the ledges, you're catching hybrids. Um, so... I'm just hoping for a good draw. We got one more day of practice and we have the tournament. I'm hoping for a good draw. If he can get me around some decent um, hydrilla like I've been looking, um, I should be okay, at least enough to uh, to bring some fish to the scale. So that is the goal. You know, obviously we want to win the tournament, uh, but the goal is to bring five fish to the scales. If we can do that um, every day, I think we'll have a, a strong chance at making the final cut. But got to bring five, and they've got to be decent, at least two pounds. Um, my partner did catch a seven, came off at the boat, but did catch a seven this morning. Um, the big fish are out there. But, yeah, anyway, um, we caught an alligator. My partner did on uh, day one. So um, that was interesting. And then um, we just had all kind of stuff happen. Seen some eagles. Uh, got a dragonfly. Land on my finger and just hang out, wash his face, all kind of stuff. Uh, it's been interesting so far y'all but um, stay tuned so we got one more day i think we're going to put in at the boat basin and try to practice um you know just like we would if the tournament was going on but uh, you know no change in the weather no change in anything and this is kind of what i hoped for honestly i really wanted there to be no change <clears throat> no change makes it difficult for everybody and i do well not well, but I know how to fish this lake when it's difficult. So, um, you know, hopefully it stays difficult and nothing magical happens. And hopefully I can bring five fish to the scales. But, uh, you know, we'll check out day three and, and see what happens from there. <clears throat> Bofin. Bofin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's coming through. I got it. You got it? Yeah, it's coming through. Oh, it's a little fish. That's why. Look at that. <laughs> Finally. You done? Nope. <laughs> Give me some luck.
Yeah. What's up guys, we're back. Uh, it's end of day three, it's end of practice. And uh, what a grind it's been, good lord. Uh, so it's pretty much, like I said, Lake Seminole has been showing out and uh, it's been real rough. So a lot of guys have been reaching out to me on Instagram and all, um, you know, asking if it's been tough for me, and it has. Um, yesterday was the best day I had. We were actually able to sit in the spot and you know, I was able to get a pretty good number of bites. I won't say how many bites I got, but pretty good bit. Uh, what I learned from practice, um, I got to capitalize on every bite. Every bite that I've got, I've got to make an opportunity to make sure I get him in the boat. So, uh, luckily, I have confidence in a bait um, and a color. And actually, two baits, two colors. So, I've got those two rod, rods rigged up. I'm only going to bring three rods with me. Y'all, that's how tough it is. I don't want to give myself any opportunity to stray away from the plan. Um, so we're going to bring a, you know, crankbait slash topwater rod. And I know that's weird to say that crankbait slash topwater. Uh, but for the, the topwaters that I'm throwing for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it'll be fine to throw it on my crankbait rod. So it's not a big deal. Um, so I don't need to bring another rod just to have topwater. That makes sense. I'm not going to throw it, but for 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have two rigged up with this bait and then one to throw miscellaneous miscellaneous hard baits, which they're not biting. So uh, we're fixing to go to the meeting. We're rigging up a couple more things, reorganizing, uh, moving everything from our practice bag to our tackle bag. Um, while I'm here, I'll show you uh, what my tackle bag is, my co-angler bag. It's a uh, it's made by Flambo, Flambo. I don't really know how to say that. Uh, but it's a Z-Rust backpack and uh, so I practiced in the Plano and just so y'all can see uh, that's all I practice with terminal tackle soft plastic and hard baits that's I mean that's all I practice with so uh, the crappy jigs and all that was just stored in there but Anyway, I really like this bag because it's got two big side pockets right here. Uh, so you can actually fit a, uh, a 3600 series box or 3700 box me, down in the side there. So, but you just don't want to. The only thing I found I don't like is you don't want it to get it too full because the seams uh, start to fray a little bit. So I've been keeping smaller boxes in there. So you get some nice stuff. Uh, anyway, yeah, your main main stuff goes there. Got your side pockets, and you got this little area you can put um, spools of line. You know, they say you can spool your line up right there, but uh, I don't ever like my line rubbing against anything like that, so I don't use it for that. Usually keep my tools up here. It's got this little pouch here. Put soft plastics or your phone or, or whatever. And uh, this zips up. They've got a little satchel is what they call it. And it attaches with these right here. I just haven't got it. And you've got some straps on the side if you want to put rods, stuff like that. See, I'm all messed up. And then there's your, your backpack straps. It's got the clip in the middle, so you go into a new lake you don't have any clue and you didn't get to practice you can bring everything and not have to buy like the bass mafia 120 dollar tackle bag um, so it, it actually holds quite a bit of tackle and um i've gotten some good look at me throwing stuff everywhere i've gotten a pretty good amount of compliments on it from uh, the boaters that i've been with because uh, it doesn't take up a lot of room in the boat at all I mean, if you look at the profile of that versus this, 
this is just vertical but it, it seems to be in a boat a little more compact especially if they don't have a storage space for you to use um, so i'm just going through and just fixing up what i need i'm literally only bringing three boxes uh, that's how narrow down i am uh put all the stuff in and, and go so uh we're gonna head down to the meeting in a little while and uh, we'll bring you along we'll show you what the meeting looks like for one of these big tournaments and let's just hope and pray that i can get a uh, a good boat draw because if we're like boat 200 it's gonna be a huge problem <sighs> so yeah thanks for watching guys this has been a grind uh, i'm just happy to be here it's all i wanted to do is make it here and um uh, this is you know i call this my home lake been fishing this place since i was 15 years old uh, so hopefully i can win i'd love to win but we'll see what day one holds in store for us and see what happens at the meeting